Hey everyone, it's Gaming Gus here, back again with a uh, with another video game. This time I've got a, a game called Karnov right here. It's made by Data East, and uh, this one uh, this one's a little, little special. Uh, it's, it says here it's an arcade hit. So it was originally on in the arcades, then they put it on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now the interesting thing you'll notice on the cover is that it's a, a shirtless dude and he's like fighting dinosaurs and then there's also like these monkeys on there and uh, there's actually that there's a reason for that is that this was originally when this came out this was made uh, by uh, this was commissioned by Ken Ham who is the uh, the leader of like the, the creationist movement so uh, he thought like back you know back in the 80s that he was going to make a game to try and teach kids about creationism so there he's like it's it's and this was originally supposed to be Ken Ham like this big muscly dude uh, on there shooting fire and um, but then uh, at the same time uh, he decided that, like, you know, it's, you know, he didn't want kids to play the game and then meet him in real life and then they'd be like, oh, he doesn't look anything like it. So instead they created Karnov, who is this Russian guy. And, uh, so basically what he does is he fights all these dinosaurs and he's, he's fighting, like, the lies of, of evolution, uh, is, is, is basically what it was supposed to be. And, um... Uh, it didn't really didn't really get that message across. Uh, there wasn't really much like, you know, in the way to kind of explain that because it was just him fighting dinosaurs and monkeys and stuff. So kids were just like, well, you know, that's that's cool, sure. Um, but like later, y years later, there would be this, you know, like after the whole Bill Nye versus Ken Ham thing, uh, he would actually be be interviewed about Karnov. Uh, you know, the interviewer was saying, hey, you know, I know this whole evolution debacle with you and Bill Nye, but what about Karnov? Remember Karnov? And he was just like, oh yeah, I remember, I remember Karnov, mate. Uh, he's, he's Australian, right? Uh, and um, he had talked about that apparently they were going to put a a ten-story tall. Uh, just incredibly detailed statue of Karnov in the Museum of Intelligent Design, and he was gonna, and he was actually gonna breathe fire, and he was just gonna be like, he was gonna be like raising his hand up and being like, "Intelligent Design is the true path," or whatever. However, you say that in Russian, um, but they didn't have the money for it, and um, but he was hoping that with the the, the whole Bill Nye, uh, you know, debate. Would would spark more interest in intelligent design. So, um, but it didn't. Um, and uh, a lot of people blame Bill Nye for that. Uh, other people just blame uh, Ken Ham and his his want to uh, to kind of spend a lot of money. Uh, in fact, that, yeah, the, the Karnov originally this was like the most expensive game uh, ever made at the time because it was about I'd say I, I want to say it was like sixteen million dollars. Uh, or something like that, which is, uh, or, you know, 16, 17 million dollars, uh, and a lot of that didn't actually go into this, it actually just kind of went into Ken Ham, uh, in, in his catering service, um, which he had this, this whole thing, this whole, like, catering service where he would actually try and get actual monkeys, like, monkey meat, to try and, like, be, it would be, like, symbolic of just sort of, like, that's, you know, like, you know, screw evolution, all these, I'm, we're gonna eat monkeys, um, so yeah, so that's why um, that, that's why when you hear a lot of people talking about Karnov, they call it the uh, the monkey buffet game, um, and uh, so, you, so now you know where that comes from because you know like a lot of people when they when they talk about this they're just like oh Karnov you know the monkey buffet game, um, but um, but yeah it's a pretty good game. I haven't really talked a lot about the, the actual game itself. Um, yeah, you get these power ups. You know he, he breathes fire as I've I've said before, uh, but then of course he has the uh, the. He breathes fire. I mean, that's. I mean, you really don't need much more than that. I mean, it's 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 fire breath, but um, at that same time, uh, I I think um, yeah, sixteen million dollars was was you know. I mean, the monkey buffet was pretty cool. I've seen I've seen pictures of the monkey buffet. It's it is immaculate. It is it is fantastic. It is just like it's it's like you know you go to Ruby Tuesdays and they got like the sneeze guard there and like but that's like like this new it's like the actual sneeze guard is not made of glass. It's like this like weird like it's like this plexiglass or something like that and they see like Ken Ham is a gun and he's just shooting at the uh, the sneeze guards showing that it's like this bulletproof thing there and once again um you know he used like a very like rare gun so that was like more money um yeah he just he really liked the extravagant spending um yeah but that's that's Karnoff like it was it was a classic like you know once again uh like yeah they put it in the arcades and uh then they then they they put it on the NES and the NES version is a lot better than the arcade version, um, and uh, you know, once again, 
yeah, you, you just kind of have the fire breath. You know, I really, really think that they should put a little bit more thought into the game and not and not the bulletproof sneeze guards. But um, you know, you know what? Like that, that's now why they have bulletproof sneeze guards in buffets now is because of Ken Ham and and because of Karnov. So, uh, so yeah, so that's about it. That's Karnov. Check it out if you can. Uh, Data East kind of doesn't exist anymore, I don't think. Uh, so you, you know, you can probably find this like on eBay or something or something like that. But uh, yeah, I uh, want you guys to have a great day. I want you to like the video. Maybe uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, I'm Gaming Gus, and uh, I'll uh, see you guys later.